Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. When using the Boss Tone Studio software with your Boss Katana, you may be worried about completely screwing the thing up and losing your sounds. In this video, I'll show you two ways of backing up your sounds in your Boss Katana, so if you do screw the whole thing up, you can quickly get back to where you were, no harm done. Please subscribe, click the bell, like and share this video. Now the first method I'm going to show you is importing the tone settings in your katana into a live set in Tone Studio, then saving that live set as a file onto your computer. So we need to click on the librarian button and then click the import button. That's the, uh, the little downward pointing arrow there in the top right. Then click on Katana, because that's where we're importing from, and enter a name for your live set. I'll just uh, call this backup. And you can see that is now importing the tone settings that are in your amp into Tone Studio. And there you can see it. Here it is, backup. So to export that live set to a file, click the export button. That's the upwards pointing arrow. Select the live set that we want to export. We call ours backup, so there it is. Click on file, because that's where we're sending it to. That's where we're exporting it to. And then the normal Windows Explorer dialog will come up. Pick somewhere to save it and a name. I'll just keep this backup.tsl there and save it. There we go. Um, I've already saved this one once, so I'll uh, click yes to save it again. And there we go. That is now backed up onto your computer's hard drive. To restore those settings from a file, so um, let's just delete this um, just to prove that the whole uh, the whole mechanism works. So we will now want to load that in from the file. What we do is click the import button, downward pointing arrow, select file because we're importing from a file, select the file that we just saved, open that, and there you can see it. It's now back into the Tone Studio software. To restore that to the katana. What we would then do is export that, so the upward pointing arrow, select the live set to export, call backup, uh, select the katana because that's where we're exporting it to, and that is now sending those sounds into the katana. And that's the first method of backing up, i.e. saving and restoring the tone settings uh, in your katana using a, a live set. Now the second method uh, of backing up your katana this method backs up all the data, i.e. not just the sounds, all the global EQ, routing, whatever else uh, you've got rather than just the tone settings. So to do this, we need to click on System, click All Data Backup, so that's the one down at the bottom there. Select To File, it's where we're sending it. Pick somewhere to save it and uh, give it a file name. It'll have an extension of uh, ALB. That, that stands for all data backup or something. Um, save that. Takes a few seconds and there we go. That is all now backed up onto your computer's hard drive. If we wanted to do the reverse operation, so get restore that uh, from the file into Tone Studio on the Katana, all we've got to do is all data backup restore and click from file, pick the, um, the file we just saved That'll take a few seconds to load in, and there we go. All the backed up data will now be restored to your Boss Katana. Okay, so there we go. That's two methods of backing up, i.e. saving and restoring the data from your Boss Katana. Now, hopefully that should ease any worries you've got about experimenting with configuring your Katana with the Tone Studio, knowing that if you do make a mess of it, you can just go back to one of your backups and uh, no harm done. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Keep making music and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.